To speculate on Belcranel's level at the end of Dan Maki, it's worth considering the exceptional progress he's already made and the challenges that lie ahead. Given Bell's growing power and the increasingly formidable threats he faces, many fans believe he'll need to reach at least level 10 to be on par with the gaze of the Black Dragon, GDBL, and the other forces present in Ororio. Bell's evolution has been accelerated since the beginning of the series, starting with his meteoric rise from level 1, where he defeated monsters well above his level, to his most recent achievements. If this trend continues, it's plausible that he'll reach a level of power on par with Orario's greatest heroes, such as Ace Wallenstein, or even surpass them, especially considering his unique potential with abilities like Liaris Freeze. In addition to Bell's individual progress, the development of his allies will also be crucial. For example, Welf Kratzo, who has already demonstrated his ability to create powerful magical weapons, could become even more crucial. In Season 4, we saw Welf's potential to create weapons that are not only extremely effective, but can also be used in innovative ways, such as a magical sword with a long handle that multiple people could wield simultaneously. If Welf can create a sword that exploits dragons' weaknesses, such as ice or other elements, combined with Haruheim's ability to temporarily increase everyone's level, it could be a decisive factor in defeating the OEBD. Lafia could also play a vital role. Let's say she finds an elf with attack-boosting magic and manages to copy that ability, further increasing the party's attack power. Combine this with Reveria's buffs, Hythe's healing, Welf's enhanced weapons, and Bell's increased charm, the party could become virtually unstoppable. Bell's ability to activate the Argonaut's power at critical moments could be the final element in securing victory over the OEBD or other formidable foes. Another important point to consider is the growth of the Xenos, as we saw in Season 4 with Moss Huge, who was able to rapidly increase in power by consuming magical stones. This rapid growth could be reflected in other Xenos, such as Ween, who has the potential to become as strong as high-level adventurers like Ace. The development of the Xenos could provide Bell with the allies he needs to face the final challenges of the story. As for Asterius, he has already proven himself to be a worthy rival for Bell, and his continued growth suggests that he may be one of the greatest threats Bell will face. In order to defeat him, Bell will need a killer, a specific weapon or skill that will enable him to outmatch Asterius. Given all of these factors, Bell's final level may not be the only indicator of his strength. The growth of his allies, the special weapons and skills he and his friends can acquire, and the tactics they develop together will all determine how the story unfolds. Regardless of what their final level is, Bell and his allies will have to combine all their strengths to overcome the challenges that await them and defeat enemies as powerful as the OEBD.